สวัสดีค่ะ Well we are back again with circuit analysis one. Uh, this is a beginning of the topics that will cover um, alternating current circuits or AC circuit, All right? So most of the, I think all the topics except ILC a little bit, um, was all the topics were all DC. Okay, so now let's start with AC into a little bit into the real world uh, right now. All right, so so this is a review on this session is a review on sinusoidal. Okay, well, what is a sinusoidal? Okay, a sinusoidal. Okay, is a signal that has the form of sine or cosine. Function. Okay. So whenever, whenever our current, current or voltage, okay, is in a sinusoidal form, it's usually referred to as alternating current or AC. Okay. So a sinusoidal current. Is usually refer to as alternating current or AC. Okay, so therefore, any circuit, right, driven by this sinusoidal current or you know current source or water source, are called AC circuit. So circuit driven by the sinusoidal current source or voltage source. Okay, are called AC circuit. Okay. So we're gonna review sinusoidal. That's all. You know, it'll be very short. This clip here. So sinusoidal. You guys have done this in I think grade ten maybe, right? Grade ten. Okay. So sine wave. So sine wave, right? Either sine or cos. Okay. So this is the voltage. Right. And this is omega t. Okay, so from zero up to the peak here is called Vp, right? So this is all the Vp, but in negative, um, in another directions. Okay, so if this is zero, right? This is ninety degrees or pi half. This is one hundred and eighty degrees or pi. This is three pi half, right? And it completes the cycle at two pi, okay. And from the upper peak, the positive peak to the negative peak is called VPP, okay. And for it to for the the time that the sinusoidal repeat itself is the period T, okay. So VM. So let's write it down. Uh, this is VM. And this is minus Vm. Vm is called the amplitude of sinusoidal. Okay. Omega, omega, omega. Not please don't write it like this. It become like work. You know, bend a little bit. You know, curl it in a little bit. Become omega. Omega is the angular frequency. Okay, in radians. Okay. Vp, Vp is peak values. Vpp, we call it peak to peak values. Okay, in the lab, 
you know, following this lecture, um, you will see this, work on this also. T is a period, right? And the formula is 2 pi over omega. Okay. And frequency, F is frequency in hertz. Okay. And F is equal to 1 over T. I think omega is radian per second. Okay. So therefore, omega is equal to 2 pi F. Something you have to remember. Okay. Okay. So that's uh, the other parameters. Um, another thing I want to review is the shifting. The shifting of the waveform. So let's say that you have a function y with respect to theta, a sine wave like this, okay? And the amplitude is a. It might not be drawn, you know, to scale. Just approximate sketch it. Well, this is why as a function of theta is equal to simply a sine theta, right? Start from zero, okay? If the starting point sort of shift somehow the wave is shifted, okay, you know, to the right, like this, and it's shifted by an angle phi, okay, from the original, we say that this is y is equal to a sine, right, the angle. The way I remember it is that this is like, it's supposed to come, at, it's supposed to start at zero, but it start late, delay. It's delay, it's delay. So delay, and people, you know, we don't, I mean, for example, me, if students come in late, I don't feel that good, okay? So it's like a negative feelings when you delay, okay? So therefore, uh, the angle becomes theta minus, right? It's minus, negative feelings, phi, okay? Another one, if somehow it comes beforehand in advance, like this. Or it comes in advance. Well, you know, as a teacher again, if walking in, students, oh, all the students are here, came before me, you know, before time, feel good, yes, yes. So positive feelings. So this function becomes A sine theta plus Phi. Okay, this is how we write when there's a shifting uh, happens. When shifting happens, okay, shifting. Okay, so let's see. Let's say we have to graph. Okay, one blue one. Let's call this A. The blue one is A, and another one is. Let's use red one. Okay, like this. Oh. Red one B, B, okay, oh, not nice. Oh. So B, okay, and it differs by nine, mm, phi, let's say, angle phi, 90 degrees or something, okay. In this case, we write it, when we compare this to waveform, we say that this A, wave A leads wave B by angle phi, okay? Or, of course, things you can look both ways, okay? So you can write also as, or you can write as B comes afterwards, lags behind A by angle phi. So uh, now I'm introducing the word leading and lagging, you know, for you to understand what it means, okay? Right? And also, also, if there's another term, phi is equal to zero, that means they are sort of in this, they are sort of like this, well, the blue one, this, okay, and the red one. The magnitude doesn't have to be the same, okay, but they're just like on top of each other, okay. We call this that the two waves are in phase. And 
if your angle phi is not zero, that means there's some shifting happening. Okay. The waveforms are called they are they are out of phase of each other. Okay. So it's that right? So two term term leadings lacking and a term in phase and out of phase. Okay, so th for this graph, of course, A and B are out of phase. Okay, and how? It's that A leads B by phi, or you can say that B lacks A by phi. Okay, right? Another thing I want to review, not derived, okay, is the RMS value. Okay, RMS stands for root mean square. Okay. And VRMS is equal to 0 0.707 V peak. Okay, what does it mean? Okay, what it is is that it, the RMS value is, it gives us a sense to compare it with voltage in DC. So for example, if V peak is equal to 169.68 volt, right? The RMS value is 120 volt RMS. Okay, this means that it means that it means that meaning meaning right. The 169.68 volt AC right peak AC okay has the same effect if you apply it to like a resistor okay as as if as if you have a 120 volt DC okay it's a value compared to the DC values okay the RMS for the AC peak value is used as a comparison for the DC values okay so therefore okay that's about RMS what it means okay now something that you may need later on when you solve the problem okay some problem with AC okay it's the identity of you know it's um, trigonometry or a little bit calculus right sine A plus minus B is equal to sine A cos B plus minus cos A sine B okay cos A plus or minus B is equal to cos A cos B minus plus sine A sine B okay sine omega t plus minus 180 degrees is equal to minus sine omega t cos omega t plus minus 180 degrees is equal to minus cos omega t sine omega t plus minus 90 degrees equal to plus minus cos omega t cos omega t plus minus 90 degrees is equal to minus plus sine omega t okay it's a review okay a review so therefore if you have sine omega t you want to convert to cos right it would be cos omega t minus 90 degrees okay if you have sine omega t minus 10 degrees it will become cos omega t minus 10 minus 90 degrees right so equal to cos omega t minus 100 degrees right okay now example okay what we have done okay so if you have V of T equal to 12 cos 50T 
plus 10 degrees volt, right? So what is the amplitude? Okay, so the amplitude, make sure you know the terms, okay? Vm is equal to 12 volt. Phase angle, the phase is phi equal to 10 degrees, okay? Angular frequency, Omega equal to 50 radian per second. Okay. Period T equal to 2 pi over omega. So 2 pi over 50 equal to 0 0.1257 second. Okay. And frequency F is equal to 1 over t, so equal to 7.958 hertz. So therefore, from this one function, you can extract all this information out. Okay, right? So another example, another example. Okay, just give you time to write it down. If those of you who is actually writing um, your own lecture note, which I recommend actually, Okay, I recommend for you to do because for the exam, okay, you cannot really be like reviewing by re-listening to all of my talk because I just, you know, but if you have your lecture, you can just, you know, you get all the information without having to, having to listen to, you know, something I say like now, <laughs> okay, all right, okay, so next example, next example. Calculate uh, phase angle, phase angle, the shifting, okay, between V1 of T equal to minus 10 cos omega T plus 50 degrees volt and V2 of T equal to 12 sine omega t minus 10 degrees volt we want to find you know how these two you know how who lacks who or who leads who by how many degrees okay and of course to do this to do this we have to you know, change them to be in the same form. Either you change, either you change V2 to become in a cos sine term, or you change V1 to be in a sine term. Okay, so I'm going to do it by converting the cos, the cos sine V1 into sine term. Okay, so therefore, V1 equal to minus 10 cos of omega t plus 50 degrees. Okay. And of course, you can go and, you know, look at uh, the table we just, just written. Okay. Well, this equal to, you can change to sine, it become 10 sine omega t plus 50 degrees minus 90 degrees. So therefore, V1 of T becomes 10 sine omega T minus 40 degrees volt. Compared to V2 of T equal to 12 sine omega T minus 10 degrees volt. You may not see it right away what are the, you know, the difference between the two uh, phase angles. So I'm going to draw it to illustrate this. Okay, so V1 is 10 sine at minus 40 degrees. So let's say this is, you know, 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees, right? Okay, so the first one V1 is starting at, right, minus means delay, right? So V1 is delay, this is zero, delay by 40. 
so let's say this dude like this this is v1 okay and v2 v2 is delayed by only 10 degrees so v2 delays by 10 okay minus 10 so it's delayed by 10 and it's 12 so it should be a little bit higher I'm not so sure how this is that's uh, right so therefore the difference between the two graphs right here so it's 30 degrees now right who leads who who leads whom right so it seems like this is v2 v2 start first so therefore v2 leads v1 by 30 degrees or you know from another point of view right v1 right lacks v2 by 30 degrees so this is the answer okay so this is this wrap up the review on sinusoidal waveform okay thank you well next class it would be how you know how you change all this sine wave into an easier form for you to use in circuit analysis phases See you next class. Bye.